development, there is passion, there is belief in it. Uh, of course, our irrigation system uh, has deteriorated. We have lots of them. We can make them alive. We can rehabilitate them and then add on more irrigation. And of course, there are new technologies on irrigation. Yes. Yes. With money, we can source that. Uh, two weeks ago, I was just invited by the Korean government in their uh, uh, environmental technology and bioenergy expo in Seoul. And I saw all the technologies needed there for reforestation, for reviving, mm -hmm. let's say, uh, Pasig River. Because the river, the <coughs> biggest river there, they showed it, yes. it's revived. No? Yeah. Uh, the agricultural technology are all there. Uh, uh, almost the, te the technology for almost all of these. Uh, those pertaining to agriculture, to irrigation, energy sourcing and alternative fuel. But we are number one in this gas. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Natural gas. In the world, natural <laughs> gas. We're number one. There's no problem with that. You know, probably more recent technology, rainforestation. Housing for the poor, we have extensive uh, uh, experience with that. Uh, we can handle it, building of schools. We are in schools, we know it can be done as government. I've built a lot of schools. Let, let no that sense approach, you know. Let me inject something, Noli, before you proceed. You know, this rainforestation reminds me of what Pres President Franklin Delano Roosevelt did at his time when there was recession. Remember? Okay. There was yeah. great depression. Mm -hmm. Not just recession. Mm -hmm. At that time, people were jumping from the towers, you know, committing suicide. Because like they were last. They were down to their last millions. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. And what he did was he mobilized. Roosevelt mobilized the college students all over the United States. He planted the whole uh, watersheds of the United States, mm -hmm. and even. It even revived the the uh, dying rivers and tributaries that contributed to the Kuli Dam. Mm, okay, uh, okay. Mm. And that here is doable with what he's trying to do, what Noli is trying to do in uh, Nueva Ecija mm, with and a Bulacan. tent and Bulacan because that whole area is a watershed and, okay. and the previous administration just did not uh, appreciate the fact that you cannot keep on dredging the Pasig River without replanting the Marikina watershed. Mm -hmm. And that's 24,000 hectares. It's the biggest single watershed in the Metro Manila area. Is that right? Yeah, okay, okay. because if you don't replant that, you will have erosion all the time. <laughs> and the rainforestation mm -hmm. is a partial solution to climate change. Mm, yeah. The flooding of Metro Manila, <coughs> flooding of Central Zone, right, the flooding right. of Pangasina. <laughs> yes, Imagine yes, yes. Yes. Cagayana, no? yes. uh, which is practically on top of the mountains. So uh, and there are many because in that uh, World Bank guideline mm. the last question is how do you sustain the project? Mm. after the grant has been exhausted. Yes, yes, right. yes. So right. we have thought of many other uh, entrepreneurial enterprises that rainforestation can bring. No? Like products of rainforestation. Yeah, yeah, one is, there are so many mill springs there. Oh yes. So okay. in Seoul, really, yeah. I, I ask that I be shown the technology to convert mineral spring water into mineral water. Yes, yes. Yeah, right. Two, okay. you know, we have the experts from Euclidus Banos. We have mm. one year in our uh, uh, PhD class. As a matter of fact, uh, in this month's issue of American Chamber Journal, mm -hmm. he wrote the cover story on my invitation. Ah, I'm okay. a member of the editorial board. Yes, yes. Uh, it's just too bad. I didn't know. We'll uh, talk about it. Uh, I left his copy in my room. Okay, you know? okay, okay. I could have shown it to you. So as far as agriculture is concerned, we have the experts. Mm -hmm. We can do it. It's better if it's done by a non-governmental organization. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. The World Bank, uh, yeah. the World Bank uh, and even the European Union, the JICA, House Aid, and the other, there are about uh, active funding 
and the global agencies, agencies yeah. okay, operating okay. in the Philippines, especially in the conflict affected areas of Mindanao, you know. We can do this. We okay, can okay. do this. And my objective, as I mentioned to you, is yeah. I want to set an example yes. of a craftless implementation it can of be a done. project that can serve yeah. yes. as a model for the rest yes. of the world. Yes. So and there will be a daily monitoring. It will be taped like yeah. this, yeah. that piece yeah. of program. Yeah. There will be the camera, the hard one. Uh, everything will be computerized, the daily accomplishments. Yeah. 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 So the monitoring will be very strict and we can account. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, almost, yeah. Up to, almost to the last US sense. I, I'm glad that uh, Noli uh, has said that uh, they can do this. Yeah. We can. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, precisely. Mm -hmm. So we already, uh, we're not really uh, whistling in the dark because mm -hmm. uh, Noli has already spearheaded uh, quite a few aside from, aside from being governor, I was also elected by the governors and city mayors of Central Luzon to be the chairman mm -hmm. of Region 3 of Central Luzon Development. You know, yes, the, yes. Yes. The district uh, development right. yes. uh, uh, organization of the yes. government. Yes. So uh, I presided on the planning uh, and modernization of Central Luzon. Uh, practically, the roads you see now were in that plan, uh, a copy is in the library of this school, just, to, just for reference to, for those who want to trace how this came about. Practically 90 percent of the development there. You know, the, the, the funny thing is, it was done 1987, and it took between 10 to 20 years to get them implemented. No, and they're still being implemented. But see, Noli, there's nothing wrong by putting <coughs> it into the in the into the context of the development in the 21st century, although it happened during the last part of the last century, you know, because these things, are, uh, these things are factors in our socio-economic empowerment, in our societal setup, which can be carried out anytime. You All you have to do is update your, your, your uh, data and get the willpower of the people, get that political will, and go on with it. It can be implemented. Anytime. Exactly. That's what we did, for example in telecommunications in that regional development council of region three mm. i had it included that the latest information communication technology which were not yet available mm. or invented mm -hmm. remember ww http was <laughs> invented about 1995 yeah, and yeah, just yeah. Uh, perfected around the year 2000 and we're thinking of 1986, 87, the first two years of uh, President Coley at the time, you know. I had it included because I foresaw that with the development, the speed of development in technology, if I insisted on the existing technology of the time, in a few years it would be obsolete and a waste of time. So that's what is happening now, you know. Uh, we are able, and solita also, the Director General and the Economic Planning Secretary of Korea, you know, because it's submitted to President Korea, all the, the uh, Regional Development Council of Economic Plan. It was included in the National Economic Development Program of the President. And then going back to this ambience, that we have to take advantage of this. Good work. You know, I, I saw it and I experienced it first time during the time of President Korea. So many nations were offering, so many